Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a while back I posted a video of the worst makeovers in America's Next Top Model history. And today I'm going to be posting, in my opinion, the best makeovers in America's Next Top Model history. So follow along and watch to the end to see my number one best makeover ever. And make sure to let me know in the comments if you agree or if I missed any. I'm just doing them off the top of my head so I'm sure I'm missing some like legendary makeovers, but drop them below and and make sure to like this video. It helps boost my videos so that they get more eyes on them and I can continue making awesome content. Okay, so I thought I had 10, but I guess I only have nine. So starting off with my number nine best makeover of all time, and that is Kayla. I sort of forget what season she was on, but I'll put a picture here. And I don't know if that like red bowl cut bob situation would work in today's modeling world, but it was so fierce for the show and a big improvement from what she had before. I think it totally suits her and it's just a perfect look for Kayla. So that's why she made it to my number nine spot. All right, the next one I have is Whitney and she got this icy blonde hair, which I actually think for once looks amazing. Tyra loves to give girls this icy blonde makeover and a lot of times it turns out like yellow. For example, Jordan from Cycle 20, I believe, her poor hair turned out yellow. And there's a lot more examples of that, but a lot of times the bleach blonde makeovers turn out this nasty yellow color, but Whitney's turned out amazing. And I think she just is a blonde. Like she's not meant to be a brunette. She is a blonde through and through and I loved this makeover for her. All right, next one we have is Faux. First of all, I love Faux. She is such a sweet girl and one of my favorites that's ever been on the show, personality-wise. And I also love her look, her little freckles, and I think the makeover that she got totally highlighted her look. They took her hair and they chopped it off and it made her face look so much more angular, so much more high fashion. I loved everything about her makeover and I thought they did a gorgeous job on her. I came across Faux's Instagram the other day and she is freaking killing it. She's now got like this curly hair situation going on and it is beautiful. She looks stunning. It seems like she's working a lot. She's very body positive on her page. So she is obviously doing very well and still killing it in life. All right, next one coming in at number seven is Sam, Samantha, whichever. I loved the blonde pixie that they gave her. I think she definitely needed a little bit more edge to her look because she's just made to be your classic like blonde bombshell, but this cut made her totally chic and high fashion. She was such a sweet girl on the show. I loved watching her and personality wise, again, she was amazing. Modeling wise, she was amazing too, but that hair seriously made her. Sort of like I feel like my makeover made me on the show like I was just so known for that purple hair. I feel like she was so known for this pixie cut. It just like made her a model. Hi guys, sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can try new skills, you can deepen your existing passions and just get lost in creativity. One of my favorite places to hang out is the marketing section of Skillshare. So the two classes that I'm currently taking are Personal Branding by Kate Ahrens, where I'm learning how to effectively monetize my platform through identifying my brand and creating content that resonates with my audience. And I'm also taking Intro to SEO by Rand Fishkin, which is a subject that I've always wanted to learn because as I'm learning in this class, sometimes the only thing that separates a successful brand from an unsuccessful brand is SEO strategy and how discoverable they are. I find all of these marketing classes to be so interesting, but they have classes for everything, photography, graphic design, entrepreneurship, etc, etc. Skillshare is also so much cheaper than taking classes in person at just $10 a month for the annual subscription. Plus you can take the classes in your pajamas because it's online and in the comfort of your home. And guess what? I have a special offer for you guys. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in my description will receive a free trial of their premium membership. There have been a lot of uncertainties in the last year and I feel like 2021 is the year to take action and take control of your life. We don't really know what's in store for the year, but you can create your own success by mastering a skill that you've always wanted to through Skillshare and the thousands of classes that they have available. 
All right, the next two, I feel like I should almost clump into one, but I'll do it in order. Okay, so number six is Lacey. I love Lacey, she's a friend of mine here in LA. And that makeover that they gave her with the straight across bangs and bob and really dark brown, or maybe even like almost black, looks so good. I thought it made her look very chic, made her look like a model and it really gave her a signature look that people could like root for during her season. I think it suited her so well and it made those light eyes of hers pop. She's just so beautiful and I love Lacey. If you're not following her, make sure to do so. I watch all of her Instagram videos and a lot of her YouTube videos. I think she is great. All right, so the one that I almost clumped together with Lacey's was Britney's from Cycle 16. She also got straight across bangs and a bob in this really like dark brown color. And this so worked for Brittany. Um, it's unfortunate because Molly, who got second place, was on my worst makeovers list and Brittany, who got first place, is on my best makeovers list. So her makeover probably helped her a little bit in the competition, but I feel like it so suited her and again made her into a model and gave her this like iconic look that I and probably all of you guys just fell in love with. But very similar to Lacey's. I feel like there's always one girl like on each season who gets the frickin' straight across bangs and the bob and makes it dark, but yeah, I love both of them. All right, coming in at number three, I think is Bianca from Cycle 9. I loved that they shaved her head. I mean, she is meant to have short hair like this. It looks so good on her. She looks like a model. She looks like she can walk on every high fashion runway show. I think it just enhanced her look so much and made her like not as basic. She just looks so fierce and it enhanced all of her facial features. I, in some way it made her look like taller. It just made her look like a better model through and through. It was just like perfect, match made in heaven. It looks so good and she killed it on her season. I'm pretty sure she was on All Stars as well, correct me if I'm wrong, because she was kind of like aggressive and a bit of a bully on her season so they brought her back for All Stars, but she freaking killed it on her time on America's Next Top Model. All right, for my number two we have Fatima and the reason she is on this list is because of the dramatic before and after. There you have it. Her makeover was gorgeous obviously but like what was happening before? She had like this red curly short fluffy bob thing going on. I don't even know how to describe it but like I'm sorry there is no way she was going to be a successful model with that hair. I, that, that might be mean to say but there was just no way so she needed this makeover. They did a perfect job. I think she still rocks that hairstyle today so they killed it and I think literally this makeover made her a model period. I feel like I said that for every single girl it made her a model but like that's the point of these makeovers is to enhance their look into something that is more model-esque and not just like your basic girl walking down the street so anyways she needed this makeover to be successful as a model and she has been successful she is on my list of favorite america's next top model contestants ever if you haven't seen that video make sure to check it out but she is awesome she signed with img she's working in new york i see her everywhere all over the place so you go girl, good job. And well done America's Next Top Model and Tyra for giving her this hair that could make her even able to model. All right, so coming in at number one, my favorite makeover in America's Next Top Model history is McKee. First of all, I love McKee. She was so fun on the show. I love that she was kind of like a timid boxer and then had to like learn how to pose from that. And this makeover that she got just did her so well. She had kind of this weird dorky hairstyle beforehand and this is so chic, so feminine, beautiful. I love everything about it and I just think it made her look 10 times better. Now I don't think a lot of people are gonna agree with me that this is the best makeover of all time because obviously there were a lot, you know, better transformations but this just looked so good on her and it made her icy blue eyes really pop because of the dark hair and her fair skin and I just think it made her look so beautiful. I'm obsessed with her look. Love, 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 a million times love. So that's my list. Let me know if you agree in the comments and tell me if I missed any, okay? I'm sure there were some that are high contenders as well that were not on my list, but anyways, hope you liked my video and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, join the fam here on YouTube if you haven't already, and I will see you next time for another video. Bye.